hey there, welcome back, and uh, we've got a couple of videos left this year. <laughs> it feels so weird. It really does. Because thinking back on 2018, been a year of highs, a year of lows, also a year where I feel like I finally nailed the one take video. At the start of the year, I made a resolution for no filler content and I like to think I held that up. Because even though there was definitely some content that you could argue was filler, I still took some time to prepare for it. There was some um, in August, so when I was up at my place, when I just moved into my own place, there was some that were definitely close to it. But I wouldn't count them as filler, because I was walking around the house for two hours trying to figure out what to say. It was such a chore for me to decide it. But I managed to. And even if we look at the videos I've done, like my biggest video on YouTube now is my biggest video from this year, which was a one take one done. <laughs> It was done on a whim. It was done while I was sleep deprived and just finished an essay. I don't think it was an essay that did good in either. The ferret is sitting just my most viewed YouTube video. Sometimes amazing things happen on a whim. Like, I've been saying to my folks I want to do a live stream with them and, well, Today we had one in Assetto Corsa. And that was so much fun. And uh, I've saved the replay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the footage of what my mum was driving and extract that and edit that together to make sure that works fine. This has been a year where I've definitely managed to figure out stuff to do on the web, and that's been amazing. Been some of my most popular videos. The one because I always did a slow reaction to news because I wanted facts to get out, but the Britain First one, the Nigel Farage one, um, just as the most recent example and the most popular example. Then you've got the Tomo one, the Chris Meek one. Uh, Genderquake one. So the five most viewed videos for this year. You got the Daniel Ricardo one as well. All of them just off the cuff, but all of them have been ones that came together so amazingly. I've been doing some rendering today, and it now takes like six times less time to render a video. Or even less. Like it used to take me it used to take me an hour to do four minutes of 1080p60. Now it takes me eight minutes. <sighs> Next year's gonna be amazing. Because I can do so much raw stuff off the cuff on the whim. Hope you guys have been joining me for that. couple of days left of the year now. I just want to say this. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now.